How's it going, everybody? You know who it is. My name is San Wu, and for the past week, I've been obsessively working morning till evening on a patch for the Empress Zoya pedal. This patch covers a lot of what the Chase Bliss Onward is doing, and it's now available for download for free. So first, let's have a listen to what it sounds like, and then talk about the patch and my struggles of making it. And since this is a stereo effect, best listen on headphones or proper stereo speakers. Now that you heard a few examples, let's check out how this patch actually works. If you have taken a look at the Chase Bliss onward, this will seem very familiar to you. These six knobs do exactly the same thing as they do on the onward pedal, or almost exactly the same thing, and so do these selectable values here on the first page of this Zoya patch. So you can just control it from here if you like if you don't have a MIDI controller connected to it. So let's start by turning the sustain up a little bit. And we get some repeating notes. If we turn down the size knob, the repeats are getting shorter. until they're very short. This is also synced to the MIDI clock. So if I say turn down the MIDI clock, it will get even longer. And if we turn the sustain up higher, it will ring for longer and replay longer. I can also instead use the fade parameter and now we will have an attack and a decay. Turn it up a little bit and then I'm going to play a chord and another chord and they will fade in and out of each other. until only the second one rings. Pretty simple so far. Now let's get to the octave control, which introduces a second voice, an octave up or an octave down, depending on where we turn it. Octave up to the right, until we had a 50-50 blend when it's full. Or when we turn it down, we get an octave down as well. Let's turn the size down a little bit. As you can hear, the octave fills it out nicely. Because the octave doesn't only put it an octave down, but it also plays at half speed. So the notes will be shifted in time. Then we have a 
mix knob, which is pretty self-explanatory. 50-50 at the top. And here we only have the effect. And here's our dry signal, which is nothing because I'm not playing. All right, and then of course, where it gets most interesting is down here, the error section. So let's turn the fade up a little bit and also add a little sustain so it plays for longer. And now introduce some error. These effects are in stereo. So there's something different going on on the right than it is on the left. And here you can select the error type, just like on the onward pedal. If we have it all the way to the left or counterclockwise, we are changing the length of the loop that is being played. The more we turn the arrow up, of course, the more likely it is to happen or the longer and shorter the spans are. And then the second type of effect is the sample rate reduction that is introduced randomly as well as audio dropouts. Let's slowly introduce it from nothing. So again, exactly the same as the onward pedal. And then we have the third effect type. You will be able to see it switching here, actually, the effect type. If I turn the arrow up. So here's the first effect type. Random LFO is going there. Second effect type and third effect type going on here. And this one changes the playback speed or pitch as well as forward and backward playing. Probably my favorite. So it can go an octave up, two octaves up and it can reverse the playback. Shorten the size a little bit. And lastly, there's oops, there's a fourth arrow type, which is all the effects combined. So we have changing the size of the loop as well as sample rate and audio dropouts and playback speed as well as direction. So let's turn that up all the way and go all in. again. Then we have the texture knob here, which I didn't completely replicate. 
So on the original onward pedal, you have counterclockwise sample rate reduction and clockwise distortion or analog distortion kind. But distortion was too CPU intensive for this, so I couldn't in include it. So it's only sample rate reduction as you turn it counterclockwise. I should probably adjust the values here, but who cares? I should have probably explained this before, but nevertheless, this is only the glitch side of the Chase Bliss onward. So only the side that samples a snippet of a second or shorter and replays it rather than having this um, spacious freeze effect. So you don't get the freeze effect, you only get the glitch side. And I did this because it made sense because of the DSP restrictions. So this thing can't handle so much. So you really got to see what you want to include in the patch and what you can leave out. And I started creating this patch trying to replicate all the functionality of it. So I even had a freeze function included that had a lot of granular modules. And not only do I need one granular module, but I have two voices going in and out of another. So if I use the fade function, I need to have two voices because they overlap each other when you have the fade function active. So that's already two voices. But then I also have to have the added octave voice on top of that. So for each of those voices, I got to have one with an octave up that can be switched to an octave down. So that makes four voices of granular modules already. And if you know anything about the Zoya granular modules use up a lot of CPU power, which is problematic. And so I made this whole patch first, including the freeze functionality as well as the glitch functionality and ended up making it work somehow. So I could freeze the signal a little bit, but it didn't sound as good as I wanted to because I couldn't use enough grains in my granular modules and enough diffuser modules to smoothen it out to make it like a really nice freeze function that sounds good. And on top of that, I could only make it mono, which took me four days or something. And then I got to this functionality, including the freeze function. And this thing was at 105%. So I couldn't add any more modules and it was glitching out on me. Then I thought, what do I really want from this patch? What makes most sense to replicate? So out with the granular modules out with the whole freeze functionality and just focus on the glitch side. Now the glitch side was at first done with sampler modules, which are still in beta on the Zoya and therefore can be problematic because they corrupt your sample sometimes. And then if you open up the patch, you will hear nothing because there's no sample in which you can record your sound. So I changed it to looper modules and decided to make the whole patch stereo because that makes it a lot more interesting. If you have something different going on on the right side, than you have on the left side. Of course, that also means that your voices will be doubled again. So altogether, we are using four looper modules for the left side, because you have to have the four voices that can overlap one another with their octaves up or down. So that's four voices for the left side and four voices of loopers for the right side. And these have to be all connected to different random LFOs and such to make these different effects happen on either side. I don't know if you are interested in this, but it takes a whole lot of time to make this stuff. As I said, at least a week, I think one and a half weeks almost, I spent making this patch and that's not even the first time I've attempted this. 
So it takes up a whole lot of time and yeah, that's, that's it. But in the end, I think this effect sounds really nice and I came close to what the onward glitch side is doing. And I wish I had more CPU, of course, so I could include the freeze function. So I really hope that Empress will make a Zoya version 2 at some point that has, I don't know, four times the DSP, because then you could really create almost any pedal you want in it. Right now, you are definitely limited. Anyway, enough rambling. Um, what did I, did I forget? Yeah, you've got foot switches as well. Um, You've got a simple on-off switch on the left side. Then you have the... I don't know what it's called in the original onward, but it's when you hold a foot switch down in the onward, you freeze that effect. So I can freeze the glitch side and the sample is now in there and I can apply things to it and it will sustain indefinitely. So I can try out my effects. And if I press it, it'll be gone. So we've got that functionality as well. And then in the middle, this foot switch here, let me go to the correct page. I think I had this activated the whole time. This switches on the vibrato functionality. So Onward has a vibrato and chorus in there. I just quickly added the vibrato at the end of the chain, which you can switch on and off. It's also tempo synced. So this is off. And this is on. Probably not super noticeable right now. I could maybe change the depth a little. Anyway, it's there. If you want to change the strength of it, we can just change this connection a little bit and then it's stronger. Because this is the stomp switches output that goes to the vibrato depth. So on, off. Yeah, and I mean, this thing was really a headache to create and it can be that the patch glitches out sometimes if you've got all the effects activated and twist a lot of knobs at the same time but generally it is relatively stable and fun to play with so if you have a zoya i urge you to download this patch and check it out and i hope you enjoy it if you download it i'm happy about it if you want to say thanks and donate on my coffee page i'm also very happy i'll post links to that on the description for the patch it'll be uploaded on patch storage as well as on my coffee page all the links of course down in the description or probably up there and with that being said thank you so much for watching the video hope you enjoyed it hope you will enjoy this patch and i hope you have a wonderful day Peace.